All right, today I'm gonna to show you real quickly how easy it is to install iDrive on your computer. Let's check it out. Okay, so from the link provided below, you'll uh, come to this page. This is uh, uh, iDrive.com here. We have an option to do the free five gigs. So if you just wanted to try it out with like five gigs of data, just a select few items that are very important to you, um, you can give that a try, punch in your personal information, tell them you're not a robot and create an account. Uh, however, if you really wanna get the best, uh, I guess, resource or guess uh, best service from this, click on the personal slash business and I would recommend, you know, at least starting off with the uh, first year, 52 bucks for two terabytes. And it's one user, but unlimited computers. And this is awesome because you can put in, you know, you can have as many computers as you need uh, backing up to this as long as you don't exceed two terabytes, which is huge. Um, the other option would be to jump down to uh, the five terabyte option if you have a lot of files, which in my case, I'm probably going to have to jump up to this soon because my computer itself uh, that I do my videos on are actually, <laughs> it's with videos and uh, cell phones and all the photos we're taking and stuff, uh, you know, you can easily begin to start filling up your drives. And so if they're important to you and you want to back them up securely and safely, check out the five terabyte option. So anyhow, once you fill out this information and get started, um, we'll um, put in some info here. Um, it will take you to a the next page. Okay, so the next uh, page you'll land on is the configure your iDrive account with encryption. And I simply just go with the default encryption key that allows iDrive to uh, handle that. You can do your private encryption key, but you need to keep this private for yourself and it will not, uh, on this option, you will not be able to share files or folders. So, um, and just note that iDrive does not store your private en encryption key on its, on its server. So it's just easier for me to do the default encryption key and that's what 90% of you will do as well. So if you click on continue, that takes you to this next page where you are actually uh, logged into the account. So it'll bring you to this page here where it'll give you the opportunity to drown, download the iDrive Windows setup. If you do that, um, that will come down. It looks like I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that at this time. And also this is my affiliate link, so uh, if you would please can click confirm uh, for the Freedom Provider, that'd be great and I would appreciate that. So um, you can move forward here and follow the instructions to download or sync and your cloud storage. And so I'm gonna log out of this account and log into mine so you can kind of see how things are going. And uh, if you have any questions, we can go through that. Okay, so on this setup here, I have logged into my account and you can see that I have my desktop logged in and my, actually my phone on here too that I've used as a uh, option to back up files to. And I can, if I click on my account status here, it shows me how much storage I've got and I have plenty of storage here to add my laptop. And um, if I need more storage, I can go on here as well. So um, it also gives you um, some sync space and all kinds of other fun stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is click on the sync and cloud storage option uh, and I will download iDrive, which gives me that option if I go into downloads and click on this, yes, I'm gonna replace it so that I have the most current option there. And then this downloads pretty quickly. It's only 25 megs to get started and looks like it's still finalizing there. And there we go, that's done. I'm gonna click on this and run the installer. And we, of course, we wanna click yes to installing iDrive and this followed the on-screen prompts. I agree, next. And it goes through its process of installing onto your computer. Install times may vary 
depending on your computer speed and strength. All right, there's a tray here. And so here we have, um, once it's all set up, it kind of gives you an option. Here you want to add in your username and password that you established when you signed up your account. And then we also have like areas where you can back up now, you can schedule your backup. This shows you uh, the file folders you're going to back up. And uh, I recommend if you're uh, doing this, uh, schedule, you can schedule your backup to happen immediately or if you'd want to leave your computer on and make sure the sleep is not turned on or the um, your hard drives aren't going to go into snooze you can uh, have your schedule your backup to uh, happen overnight just make sure that your computer does not go to sleep and turn off otherwise when that happens um, it will uh, pause your backup until you're back on it again so otherwise you can start up right away so I'm going to enter my information here and we'll get started all right, so uh, once you sign into your iDrive account, if you already have another computer on there, you can click on Add a New Vi Device. And so we're going to do that. And then it will give you the opportunity. You successfully the device. Uh, so this is my MSI laptop. We've got that set up here. And here is the files that it's working on backing up. And so it's, it will do a scan and try to figure out how much uh, you have on there. And right now it's saying that I have uh, 464 gigs to back up on my computer. And should I want to check for other additional files, um, I can click on the change option here and then I can choose additional files uh, if I have additional hard drives uh, stored on here you can back up external hard drives as well which is a huge deal uh, I was in another program where it was charging me for the just the local hard drives on the computer but it wasn't allowing me to add external hard drives that was going to be an extra fee which for me that was like a game uh, that, that was it was a deal breaker because how many of you have hard drives that your your system hard drive is just for the uh, program and then the other hard drives are on uh, an external drive or you have a secondary drive where all your data is on so for me that was a big deal so I hope this helps out um, once you've uh, chosen your your hard drives you can click back up now and it'll begin the process thanks for watching this video today I hope this video has provided value to you in making the decision to use iDrive.com for your personal secure online backup solution if you would please click on the link below and check it out this is Dan with fathers for all and the freedom provider wishing you a great day and We'll talk to you again next time.